Hi, I'm Paul, and I'm here with a bag and board bike, all on my own. It's kind of weird, but uh, it's because I'm the only one reading this series, or two series as it is, Swamp Thing and Animal Man number 18. It's the fallout from Rot World, the uh, over the year, over the two years in the making event that was happening and crossed over for almost a full year in these two books. And it's basically about these two characters losing people they love and them tr while trying to save the world and everybody that they love. And sometimes it doesn't happen for these lower wrong heroes. Um, Superman will always save everyone. Batman will always have a plan to basically save everyone, except for Damian Wayne. Uh, but here we're dealing with, you know, the kind of C less list characters and they will fail. They're the kind of level heroes that are allowed to fail, and I think that's what makes them so interesting. Uh, Animal Man, especially, uh, is a family man, so it'll be really interesting for the rest of the series to see how Jeff Lemire handles uh, the fallout for his family. For, spoiler alert, uh, his son. The Constantine backups are just kind of annoying because you can't find the page you're looking for. Because, you know, it's the end of the book. Uh, Cliff dying. Uh, right here, it says, you know, in the end, uh, next up, a funeral. So, we're pretty much sure that he is actually, in fact, dead dead. Not just, like, dead that we've seen before. Especially in Animal Man with the rot. Where people are dying, but then Maxine can just kind of magically whiz-bang. Pull through, pull the red vines and able to magically heal people. Um, this is the most tra tragic day in the life of Buddy Barker, so Baker. I always say Barker because, you know, Animal Man. Baker. Um, but I think it leaves... Rot World was a fun event because you got to see heroes in, you know, this really post-apocalyptic, dead, zombie, grotesque world. Uh, much better than Blackest Day. That's right. I said it. I was looking at the it's two... called Blackest Night. Blackest Night. But it, it went so long, it crossed over to the day, all right? You were thinking about Brightest Day. Oh. Uh, but, uh... The Dark Night? <laughs> yes. Um, John's. It, I'm John! <laughs> trying to get back on track. No, I can't. Sorry, Paul. I think it's... With that being over, they need something because it went so long and it doesn't seem to matter when you're talking about this possible future, that having something that these characters come back to that actually impact them for the rest of the series is important. And you get that same thing in Swamp Thing, uh, number 18, with Abigail actually taking her post, spoilers of course, uh, as the uh, avatar for The Rock away from Arcane. So that means that Swamp Thing, Alec Hall Holland, and her can never be together. And in fact, Alec Hall Hall Dr. Alec Holland, Hall Holland, sorry. Holland. 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 Really, John? You're going to correct me on names? <laughs> uh, won't actually be around anymore because all that is left is Swamp Thing. Dr. Holland died. Uh, within these pages of 18. He is no more. Uh, and all only swap thing will live on. So it's a weird way to that the big event or the big consequence of the event happens the, the issue after it. But uh, you need the consequences and to, I don't see any other way to do it than in a post possible future then have it happen actually after the event itself of the post uh, uh, future the possible future because the heroes kind of won but they lost something great in return uh, that's my thoughts on it if you think it all sucks and you think my reviews suck because you know I can't keep a straight thought going I understand comment down below check out some other ramblings that we have over here on this side um, and have fun that's all I can ask for. <laughs>